Good morning and welcome to my channel Fairy Floss Creates. Um, if you're new to this channel my name is Faye and this is my creative space online. Um, so today we're going to go out on a little um, adventure. We're going to the Museum of Fashion and Textiles to go and see the Cave Facet um, exhibition um, and I thought it'd be really nice for you to come along with me. Um, Cave Facet is a textile artist who designs really 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 beautiful colours and um, different materials. Some of them you can actually buy in the shops now they're quite mean. I don't know much about him um, but I started learning about him last year at the Festival of Quilts and he's now got an exhibition on at the Museum of um, Fashion and Textiles so that's where we're off to today so let's go. Hi there, so we're just outside the Fashion and Textiles Museum waiting to go in. Um, one thing about this museum is if you've booked tickets for a certain time, you can't get in until that time. So the Fashion and Textiles Museum is in Bermondsey, which is south of the river of London. Your nearest station is London Bridge, and as you can see, just behind me up there, that is the Shard. That is the tallest building in London at the moment I think and it's really cool that's really fun to go up there unless you're afraid of heights then it's absolutely horrific um, so yeah Berman's is really pretty we're going to go in and have a look at the exhibition I'm not going to speak in there I'm just going to do a little bit of filming and show you some footage of it and then we might have a little trip around Berman's afterwards as well see you soon <laughs>
Well hey everybody and we're back home now. I hope you enjoyed coming with us today on our little um, jaunt around Bermondsey. Um, the K Facet exhibition was amazing. I can really recommend you going to see that. It is until the beginning of March, about the 12th or something. So definitely if you are in the local area it's the most inspiring thing to go to. The colours he uses, the patterns he uses are just they're just amazing. They're just him and his um, collective, because it isn't just him, there's three of them that put together all these amazing patterns. Um, so I bet you're wondering if I went to the gift shop. Well, of course I did. Um, there's some lovely things in the gift shop. Um, those needlepoint cushions that you would have seen on the tour um, are for sale in there as kits, but they are a little bit out of my price range at the moment, but that's definitely going on my wish list. I would love to stitch one of those um, cushions one day. So, however, let me show you what I did get from the shop. I bought a lovely um, magnet for our little fridge magnet gallery um, of one of his lovely um, quilts that we saw today. Um, I also bought a postcard 
of my favourite quilt of the day, which was this Birds of Paradise quilt. And um, there's quite a bit of footage of that, I think, on my video already. Um, I also picked up three lovely um, notebooks. I won't pull them out now, but that's the three designs on them. That lovely flowery one again, the cubic one, like you can see here, and the cubic one in a different shade of purple. Um, and also a Sarah Campbell Folk Birds um, bookmark. They sell, she sells a lot of these different bookmarks and um, I've got a little collection going, so I thought I'd get that for the collection. And of course, Luke came with me as well. And of course he bought something too. Um, I'm a bit jealous of this actually. He treated himself to this amazing tote bag, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's got all the lovely patterns that we've seen today on it. And um, maybe one day he might not notice when I take it. And, oh, hello Molly. And also, Luke has got a really nice collection of these Shire books. And they're really nice little historical books. And this one is all about patchwork and quilting. So when we finished in the um, Fashion and Textile Museum, we went for a little walk, found a new park, which was Suffolk Park, where we found another gallery, which was a little bit more abstract. Um, but I hope you enjoyed going with us to that little gallery as well. And it was just so nice to get out in the park. And we, we saw our first snowdrops of 2023. So all in all, we've had a really, really lovely day. And um, this, this evening, we're going to go out to the cinema to go and see a man called Otto, which should be Uwe, like the book, but I'll get over that one day. And then we're hopefully going to go to Wagamama's as well. So all in all, it has been an absolutely lovely day and I really hope you enjoyed it. So let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to take you on a journey anywhere else in London, any other creative places. And until then, keep smiling, keep stitching, and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.